What's up? So today I'm going to make me a Gasser 2. I have a couple of these. It's become pretty much my favorite uh, go-to slingshot right now. And I'm going to make it out of HDPE. So I'll show you guys how I do that. Uh, I've made a video before showing this, but uh, <clears throat> I did not make the video showing how I make it with the Wasp Clips. So I'm going to show you how I do that today too. And uh, basically everything else is going to be exactly the same. We're going to trace the template, cut it out on the saw, clean it up on the flush trim bit with the router, uh, hit it with the round over bit on the router to get all the edges, and then I'll show you guys where we're at as far as making the uh, grooves for the clips and the holes for the bolt. Um, yeah, we'll do the first part quick, and then the second part, I'll do a little bit more instruction for you. All right, so we got it cut out. It's ready to go. This is actually a functional slingshot now. You can just do the wrap and tuck on there. But what we're going to do is groove them up for these clips. So you can see that these clips have a ridge right there. And then a bolt. So we need to create a ridge across there at the right height. And a hole for the bolt at the right height. Now what I like to use is this... Uh, bit. Uh, I think it's called a V-groove bit. So I'm going to actually cut the grooves on both sides because I want to be able to use wrap and tuck if I have to. But you're just going to kind of line it up there and get an idea of how how high up the frame you want the groove to sit. And then we're going to take a marker and we're going to mark right about where that's at. I want that to be right there. Okay. So I'm going to show you the little dot that I made. Then we're going to put the V-groove bit into the router. Put the fence on the router. Or the fence uh, shield, cover, whatever you want to call it. And we'll line up where that dot is with where the tip of this is. So another good tip is to make sure that the bit is just barely above the surface. You don't want to cut the groove too deep because then the uh, the clip won't fit in there properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a line, make sure that it's the right height that I want the clip to be at. So it's going to be a very faint line. It's going to be so shallow. And then I'll slowly increase the depth that the bit cuts to until the clip fits in there just right. Okay, you can see where my line is. Now I'm just gonna put the edge of the clip in there, which obviously this is just way too large of a gap. That's not gonna work. But you can see that the height of the clip up and down the fork this way is pretty much spot on. So we're gonna keep that height. Now we're just gonna adjust the depth. We got it in there, and you can see that 
The clip now fits flush without very much, if any, wiggle room up or down at all, which is perfect. Uh, I went over it quite a few times, so don't be afraid to uh, don't be afraid to go too shallow. You want to err on the side of caution with that one because if it gets too deep, it's not going to work. You're going to ruin the whole thing. It's not going to ruin it. You'll just have to cut band grooves and let it be a wrap and tuck, which is cool that uh, you still get that option, but. It sucks because you'll have to start over to make another one with clips in it, which was the whole point of the project to begin with. So I'm just going to clean up the bits of plastic that are still left over. Helps to have a, a nice sharp knife to do that. Okay. <clears throat> so the groove, the, the clip will now fit in there perfectly flush with hardly any wiggle room. Perfect. So the next part is going to be a little bit hard to for me to show you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spring punch. Okay, this is a very cool tool. Okay, so I got a scrap piece of HDPE here. Now you can see the face of that. This loads a spring and then it'll release the spring when you press it down. You can hear it. And then what happens is you get a little dent and that's what we want just to show you again here one dent two dents so it's just a tiny little divot where the drill is going to um, hit that point point. and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna line up exactly where I want the clip in the frame like this and then I'm gonna put the bit, put the uh, spring punch in the hole and punch it so that my holes line up perfectly where I want them. And again, take your time with this part. You can see where I got my dents, my divots there. I'm just going to do it a couple more times in each spot. So that they're nice and deep and good. <laughs> I got my, my cool flashlight pointed directly on it. When you use a drill on HTPE, you have to really hold it down because it'll just climb right up the bit and it'll wobble while it does it. So your hole will get really, really uh, nasty looking. Not good. Yeah, that was a perfect one. So the wasp clips and the bolts that they come with will fit perfectly snug with a 1364th. 1364th. Okay, we're cleaning up the edge of these holes with the razor. Now, I shoot like this. So I want the clips on this side. Perfect. You can see what they look like like that. Looks like they fit in there really nicely. Ah, awesome. I'm going to go put a wrap on there, a lanyard, and then we'll shoot. Okay, you got to band it up. You guys know how much I like to match. <laughs> so I got the Sobong green on here. Red lanyard. I think it looks pretty gnarly. <clears throat> Let's shoot. Yeah. Yeah, it was like 
bullets. Just missing. There it is. Throw a couple more. That's so bong, 0. 0.6, that's gnarly stuff. Got this cool pit pouch. It's 0. 0.6, taper from uh, 20, let's see, 20 to 14. So, that's that. You'll see the clips, they're holding great. You can see the little bit of extra I got underneath there on each side. I love these clips, man. I love them. And actually, I like this frame too. This is the only pair of clips that I have left from when I ordered them last time. Um, but I do have another order coming. Should be here any day. I was hoping they'd be here today because I'm off uh, today. And I would have had some time to make a few. But they didn't show up today, so maybe tomorrow. Anyways, appreciate everyone for watching. Let me know if you guys make one. I want to see them for sure. I'll see you guys in the next one.